Last time on Pokemon Fire Red. What kept you, Cory? Ha! I thought you'd turn up if I waited here, a boot. I guess Team Rocket slowed you down, not that I care. I saw you in Saffron, so I decided to see if you got better. So he followed me into a corporation that is being taken over hostily and didn't do anything. You suck, Freezen. Alright, so his first Pokemon is going to be Pidgeot at level 37, which we have fought before. Of course, one quick Thunderbolt should, if we are lucky, be able to... Oh, look at that. That static is so handy. That will be able to uh, paralyze Pidgeot, which is great. And this Thunderbolt is going to be able to do a tremendous amount of damage, if not be able to one-shot it. A critical. Uh, I think we would have been able to one-shot it regardless, uh, just because Pidgeot isn't that strong. Uh, and next is Growlithe. Of course, we are going to switch to the things that we know have a type advantage, so we're just going to switch to Poseidon, who is going to be able to take down a Growlithe with a quick little Surf, and uh, that will be the end of this Pokemon. He's going to use his Intimidate, which doesn't matter on our Poseidon, uh, on our Poseidon because Poseidon doesn't use any physical attacks at all, and down goes Growlithe, one hit, one kill, another crit, I don't... Okay. <laughs> I, don't, I love how I'm getting all of these crits when I don't really need them. And his next Pokemon is going to be an Execute. Uh, we are not going to change... Uh, you know what? We are going to change Pokemon. I lied to you. We're going to switch out for Topher, who's going to come out, and I'm actually going to show you um, his, his, uh, his really cool ability that I think is just really awesome. Uh, and that is Megahorn. So we're going to use Megahorn against Execute, which should definitely be a one-hit, one-kill. Uh, the yeah there we go uh, execute is times four weak to bug and as I said before Megahorn is a bug type attack super useful to have and Bruce hit level 33 which is great next is going to be Alakazam again we're just gonna stay in with Topher because Topher is going to be able to use Megahorn or Shadow Ball now to take down psychic type Pokemon and this should be a one hit one kill no problem as well good to know that we also outspeed a level 35 Alakazam that is very very good to know and this is probably one of the easiest uh, fights that we will have. We are actually going to switch out and we are going to send in the one and only Chew against his Blastoise. Obviously, uh, for reasons, um, you know, electric types versus water types. Uh, as always, it's always Raichu versus, uh, versus his starter. In this case, in this particular case. And we are going to be able to take down Blastoise in two hits. Look at that, we took everything else down in one hit, except for his starter. He should feel he should feel proud, and it protected itself, so it's not going to die. Uh, it's not even going to get hit with this thunderbolt. And he used protect again. Wow, I'm surprised it worked twice in a row there. That's kind of weird. Uh, it's not supposed to, as far as I know, uh, or it has diminishing returns. And somehow Raichu, well, because he didn't use protect, Raichu was able to go first. And goodbye, Blastoise. There you go. We just beat rival Friesen for one of the last times in the entire game. That's pretty exciting. Oh man, so you are ready for Boss Rocket. And we got 2,800 Poke Dollars for winning that. Well, Corey, I'm moving on up and ahead. By checking my Pokedoc Pokedox? Pokedex, I'm starting to see what's strong and how they evolve. Am I a genius or what? No, dude, you're using a Pokedex. I'm going to the Pokemon League to boot out the Elite Four. I'll become the world's powerful trainer. Corey, well, good luck to you. Don't sweat it. Smell ya. Dude. Dude, I just showered. Just showered. All right, and right here is super important that you talk to us. Oh, hi, you're not a rocket. You came to save us? Why, thank you. I want you to have this Pokemon for saving us, and we will receive a Lapras from this person. Now, Lapras is uh, a very interesting Pokemon. This is the only time in the game where you can actually find it. Uh, but it's, it's worth mentioning that it is a very, very good Pokemon water ice type Pokemon. However, having that ice type does make it weak to things that normal white water types aren't. Now, if you started with a Charmander or a Bulbasaur and you don't have a water type, a strong water type, and maybe you went a different road with Eevee, maybe you don't have Eevee, uh, Lapras is one of the best water types in the entire game. Uh, it can learn Ice Beam and get Stab Attack on Ice Beam, which is wonderful, and Surf I highly, highly recommend a Lapras if you don't have a water type yet. Even if you do have a water type, Lapras is probably better than it. So, 
definitely pick use this one uh, if you want. I, I highly, highly recommend it. Alright, so now that that's done, let's go ahead and use the final teleporter that we can use here. This will bring us to the Silphco 11th floor, and we will face one more rocket. Stop right there. Don't you move. Alright, he's going to send out a Cubone. Uh, unfortunately, we are starting with Chew, which actually should be fine, because we will uh, start off with the day with a Brick Break, which hopefully we'll be able to... Uh, at least take him down to half. Okay, he's gonna hit us with bone meringue, bone meringue, which is going to hurt, but not that badly. Um, the the next boss that we're going to fight, which is super soon, isn't going to be a problem for us at all. We have too many Pokemon that can deal with his Pokemon, and in fact, I think our Poseidon is gonna be able to beat his team almost single-handedly. Uh, which, speaking of which, I'm going to switch to Poseidon right now, just because, um, well, because I can, in fact. Uh, and just to make this fight a little bit faster because this video is already pretty long. I knew the Sylph's Coat was going to be pretty long though, so hopefully it's not, hopefully you're not like punching people because it's so long. Hey, it's been a while since I uploaded a video of Pokemon, so like, here you go, you get a long one now. Alright, so next he's going to send out a Drowsy, who cares, we've already fought so many of these. Um, I'm just going to use Bite, uh, because Bite should be able to one- no? Wow. Impressive. Impressive, impressive. Uh, he's gonna use Meditate. Not a big deal at all. It's just gonna lower, uh, raise his attack, which is super stupid because he is a, uh, a drowsy. So, he's not gonna be attacking me much, and even if he did, with his raised attack, it's not really gonna do anything. Uh, we got 2,000 Poke Dollars for winning that because of, uh, Poseidon's Amulet Coin. Right here is a item, I believe, that we can pick up. Uh, or is it in this middle tree? It's always in the middle tree. There we go. We got a revive, and we will finally use the last card key. Bingo. The card key. Open the door. We have defeated every trainer in this entire bit. Ah, uh, Corey. So we meet again. The president and I are discussing a vital business proposition. Keep your nose out of grown-up matters. Or experience a world of pain. Good, you... You didn't even give me a chance to leave. And Boss Giovanni would like to battle. Now, it looks like he's tossing a Master Ball in his, uh, his, his thing there. Not quite the word I wanted to use. Uh, luckily, he sw he starts with Nidorino, which is good because I accidentally left Chu in uh, first. So we're just going to go ahead and use a Thunderbolt. Um, it's not going to do too much, but my, my hope is that we can at least beat his Nidorino with our Chu. Uh, which we are able to do no problemo. Good job, Chu. Good job. I love you. So he's going to start with a Nidorino, uh, which isn't that powerful, and we are going to, well, level up off of that for, for Bruce. Uh, and now he's going to switch to a Nido Queen, which is a perfect time, perfect time to switch to our Poseidon. Poseidon, of course, uh, has Ice Beam and Surf, and it just so happens that obviously Nido Queen, just like our Nido King, is a ground poison type Pokemon, so we'll be able to use Surf. And uh, it will be able to do a lot of damage. I don't think it's going to be able to kill it because Nido Queen is so tanky. It wasn't able to kill it. He's going to use Tail Whip. The leader of Team Rocket just used Tail Whip against us, so we're going to use Surf again, and that will be the end of the level 41 Nido Queen. Not bad, not bad at all. He does have one Pokemon. Perfect, here it is. So we are going to use our little Bruce to fight his Kangaskhan, which is one of his most powerful Pokemon that he currently has. Also, as you, as I've mentioned before, one of my favorite normal type Pokemon. And of course it is a normal type Pokemon. So we are going to actually go ahead and use High Jump Kick. Uh, get, got a kick right in the baby there. Uh, and that should be able to kill, oh wow, Kangaskhan is tankier than I thought. It's going to use Mega Punch against us, which is going to do a tremendous amount of damage. Uh, I don't want to risk missing, so I'm going to use Rolling Kick, which is enough to kill it. We didn't need a crit there, but I'm glad that we get the crit hacks. Down goes Kangaskhan. Now, he's going to switch to Rhyhorn. Uh, again, I'm going to switch to Poseidon just to make it super quickly and easily done. And, and Poseidon's going to level up uh, on this fight as well. So, his Rhyhorn is going to go down with one Surf. Uh, he has no special defense whatsoever, and being a rock ground type, uh, he's quad weak to to water, so he's he's just gonna die. Uh, Poseidon could blow on him, 
and he would just he would just fall over. Uh, <laughs> very powerful Rhyhorn. Now he's trying to learn Haze. Haze isn't actually that great of a move. Uh, it, it basically prevents status ailments from uh, occurring to your party. So while it could work in some competitive play, it's not necessarily uh, useful right now. Boss Giovanni has been defeated. Oh, I lost again. We get 8,000 Poké Dollars for winning that fight. Pretty impressive. Blast it all. You've ruined our plans for Silphco, but Team Rocket will never fail. Corey, never forget that all Pokémon exist for Team Rocket. I must go, but I shall return, Laverne. All right, we defeated Boss Rocket. And here we will be able to go ahead and talk to the Oh, dear boy! Thank you for saving Silph. I will never forget you saved us in our moment of peril. I have to thank you in some way because I am rich. I can give you anything. Here, though, maybe this will do. How about a mansion? And and we put the Master Ball on the Pokemon. You can't buy that anywhere. It's our secret prototype Master Ball. It will catch any Pokemon without fail. You should be quiet about using it, though. What am I going to do? Shout, I caught it with a Master Ball. You can't buy that anywhere. It's our secret prototype. It will catch any Pokemon. Um, so thank you for rescuing all of us. We, from the president down, are indebted to you. All right. So the best bet for us to use right now, or best thing to, for us to do, is to actually go and uh, and just use an escape rope, which I don't believe I've used one in this entire playthrough. So we're gonna go ahead and use an escape rope. That will bring us to the outside of Silphco. We gained a lot of levels in this video. We uh, received a Lapras for our Pokedex, the only one in the entire game. Uh, this video was pretty long, but I think it was really great. And uh, it's worth mentioning that this is not the last. We will see a Friesen or Boss Giovanni. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It helps tremendously. And let me know uh, in the comments below if you guys ever got stuck in Silphco. Uh, when I was younger, this place was like... I remember it being mind-bogglingly huge and being stuck all of the damn time and not knowing where to go and 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 as i've gotten older now i run it and i could literally do it with my eyes closed uh so so uh let me know if you guys ever got lost i know i sure did thank you for watching and remember never give up never surrender all right bye everyone